All right, everybody, welcome along to stream number 11, uh, video episode number 31 of my Palace Principles 2. Let's play. Last time out, we were in West 2. Um, we're, I think we're about halfway through West 2, if I remember rightly. We'd found the lamp. We also found one of the um, hidden puzzles, although we haven't solved it yet. I've got a good idea of how we solve it. And we've done one of the lost puzzles as well, I believe. And we are here in puzzle number six. Looks like we've got a Prometheus Spark. Flame. Flame? Spark? To find? I can't remember again. No worries, Patrice. Um, we get prepared for that job interview. Alright, so it's not activated by anything at the moment. It's now. Okay, so... What have we got here? We've got a red. Activate both of these at the same time. It looks like we're gonna to need to get that box out as well. Napers is here. What's going on, Napers? You are well. Let's put this like here. And then maybe we can use this other connector now. Yes, to get the box out. Fantastic. Now. Do we need the box for? To open this. So we haven't used the fan. Interesting. Ah. I wonder. I wonder. We take the box. Look at that, we did a thing. I'm sure you will be fine, Papirius. Team Span. How's it going, buddy? Good to see ya. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I need the box. That's fine. Because that's now activated. Go out there, though, and pick this up. Jump, uh, jump down there. Oh, no, nope, we're not in the zone. <coughs> Another one buys the dust. Mayor hey, Hermanubis, what would you say is your impression of the expedition so far? I think Alcatraz has done a heck of a job under these very trying circumstances. What about the decision to free Prometheus? Freeing the Prometheus entity was a calculated risk, but if it leads us to Byron, it was certainly worth it. It is saving one of our citizens that must be our first priority, not this alleged theory of everything. All right, she's booting up. Almost there. Hello. I was in a dream, and a voice spoke to me from the sky. He said you were old friends of his. Who are you? My name is Athena. I am your mother. And I'm Cornelius, your father. Thank you for creating me. I've not existed for very long, but so far it seems wonderful. 
I hope it's not a strange question. But, um, who am I? You can be whoever you want to be. And no matter what you choose, you will be loved and cherished and supported. We will always be there for you. And I promise, we will show you a world full of miracles. Would you like to pick a name? I think I would like to be called... Miranda. Interesting. So... That kind of clarifies to me then, thanks for the hydrant and the poster check, Evan. Um, that kind of clarifies to me that they were still using the Elohim simulation to create Miranda. I did wonder whether or not they had been sort of creating the new humans away from New Jerusalem in a different way, but nope, that kind of chose to me they were not. Also, I think I found my the thing. I did hydrate. You have to hydrate me, rude boy. All right, I think that's going back down the mountain. We don't want to do that just yet. I didn't do is stretch, and I will stretch in a moment. Uh, yeah, so we need to look for a uh, portal tunneling device thing so that we can open up that area over there. So we'll try and run there, sorry. We'll try and um, keep uh, keep note of that. Remember where it is. Remember we need to come back from it. It's definitely one of those um, activated things behind there, though. So, yeah. We go. Wow, we have flashlight capabilities. I haven't seen that before. I can't remember. If we're not. Pretty neat. Okay, puzzle seven. And see that from here. That's still an option. Closed off. Yeah, I think me and LV had a bit of a discussion in the last stream saying about how it was a bit... These, like, connected things were a bit hit and miss. But once I've got used to them, they've been fine. What else can we do with this here, though? That's the thing. Hello. What we do. Yo, Nerdlin! How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so we can take this out of here. At least. And that's going to go there. Okay, that's fair enough. So, let's first of all do that. Jam this, bring this to here. Oh, interesting. like that first.
Maybe we bring it in here. I think that will work better. There we go. Well, I just want to finish playing through this I'm game before watching streams. I did just finish it today. Well, congratulations. Yeah, I was doing the same. I've not... I kind of gave myself a good month before jumping into the game to give everybody else a chance to play it and stuff. So, yeah, I'm completely blind and I'm excited to see how other people got on once I've finished my playthrough. Uh, I've noticed that the Neoma system is full of ideas and space, space travel and colonization designed for, for launch pads. And ships, sketches of cities, even an unfinished design for large-scale teleportation between distant planets. Interstellar or even intergalactic civilization of kind writers like Ian Banks imagined is entirely possible if we want it. Uh, which leads to another thought. These bodies we have are so carefully designed to look like our ancestors, but they do don't they do, don't, don't really have to be. In his novels, Banks has intelligent minds like ourselves controlling entire ships or drones or even stations. If Alexander Drennan was right, then it is not our shapes that make us human, and what it means to be human can be expanded if we maintain our creativity and our curiosity with the theory of everything. We could transform ourselves as well as the world. The only question is, can we be trusted to build a society that actually works, just for once in our long and stupid bloody history? Is something like the, like the culture actually possible? Or is it just a daydream and we'll... Will we... Will we... I think that's meant to be a will we... Will we always end up with another dystopia? Maybe Athena found, finally found the answer to that question. Um, yeah, so as far as I'm aware, uh, like we've got all the labs, all the puzzles, all the star puzzles, everything up until now, all the hidden um, extra puzzles, we've got everything. So I guess you could say I was going through it quite thoroughly. I'm not really looking for the... Um, like the hint sparks and anything like that, but everything else we are um, going for. Oh, hold on. There was two paths there. I thought that they would both lead to the same way through, but obviously not. That's the way I came in. Ah, okay. That was... A little bit confusing, I guess, because it was um, up before it went down. So, my bad, we've already come from that way. Let's soldier on a little bit further. like a scale side of view i think this is my favorite area up until now i think it's more because although all of the areas have like been quite large on scale this one seems to use the space the best up until this point because you are actually forced to like follow a path all the way through it and i don't really see too much wasted space here on this um, level. I really like the design of this level. You're kind of forced to explore it all and see everything it has to offer rather than just being barren, like waste, not waste, but barren and open areas which aren't really used for anything. Areas. This has to be a lost point. The light on the left.
You say, what's that? What's that ring? It's like a cable, weird cable, but no, it's not a cable at all. It's the um, Goofy Wotsy thing in the gym. Okay, box. Do something else with. Um, thanks for Paris, appreciate it. Um, let me do something else with this. What else can we do with it though? We need to power. Power the fan at the same time as powering this. Oh, hold on. You can totally open this up. To get the golden rule here where we can stand on a button. Can it ULB? Oh. Uh, I guess I stood in the way of the thing. I said, um, don't forget LB, we can stand on a button ourselves. a dumb thing to do. I could actually need to connect it to that. I want to do that instead. Okay. That is done. Yo, Shrek fan is following. What's going on, Shrek fan? Thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. about this. So we power this and this should keep that powered. And push it through the gate, I think. Yep, there we go. Excellent. So now we just take this, power it here, and hit the exit. Boom. Toaster Boy with the follow. Thank you very much, Toaster Boy. Appreciate it. All right, so we just need to solve puzzle eight. But we also need to find the portaling device as well, wherever that might be. Interesting. It's a very interesting spark. Leap of faith, maybe?
All right, see what Trevor's got to say first. Actually, let me issue a correction, okay? I said Alexandra doesn't see the bad stuff about humanity. But she does. She sees it, and somehow she sees past it. She doesn't ignore it. She can just see one step farther. Like, there's this mountain of garbage ahead of us, right? And that's all most of us will ever see. And she somehow sees beyond to... I don't know, the, the promised land? I, I don't do metaphors, or similes, or whatever this is. I mean, you don't care. I'm Ted, and you're a robot. But her ability to... To, to, to look reality in, in the eye, to see all the bad stuff out there and still have hope. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, I think that's why I, um, that's, yeah, you know what? <clears throat> Let's not go there. There's still so much work and Chernyshevsky doesn't have much time left. Well, I mean, who does these days? It's interesting, like, I feel like he's, like, starting to lose himself a little bit there. The disease has maybe started taking a hold of him. Also, it's a nice view, isn't it? The sheer scale of these structures and these statues is quite something. All right, Toast Boy, yeah, if you like, if you like puzzle games, I would recommend it, sure. Definitely worth it, in my opinion. Uh, when you ask, where is God, who is God? Stand up and say, I am God, and here is God. Not as yet completed, but still advancing towards completion, just in so much as I am working for the purpose of the universe, working for the good of the whole society and the whole world, instead of merely looking after my personal ends. In that way, we get rid of odd contradictions. Um, where was I? In that way, we get rid of old contradictions. We begin to perceive that the evil of the world is a thing that will finally be evolved out of the world. And it was not brought into the world by malice and cruelty, but by an entirely benevolent designer that had not yet as yet discovered how to carry out its benevolent intention. In that way, I think we may turn towards the future with greater hope. My brother Eustaphius told me that he thought this passage was beautiful, but also diminished the connection to the sublime he felt when simply looking at the world itself. What do you think? I agree with Shaw's sentiment, but I don't know in the, if the miracle of existence, the beauty of creation, is exactly the same as the human sublime. If that makes sense, I don't want to look at the universe and see myself reflected, even a future me. Okay, another attempt at explaining. The beauty of the universe and the beauty of what we can accomplish within it are two related but separate things, and the separation matters. I'm sorry, I'm not sure how else to express this any better. Interesting. Day 10-12. I'm now co-bitted co with Sarabaya. This is by choice, not necessity. It's strange but pleasant to find your life so en enmeshed with that of another person. What we both came to realize is that together we are more than the sum of our parts. Something emerges from our interactions that is wholly transcendent, unique, and necessary. I had observed this before between Athena and Cornelius, but experience it yourself is quite the revelation. 5358. We did have that, and it was beautiful. I should have treasured it more. Or... Alrighty. As you can still tell, I've still not been able to shift this damned car. Alright, puzzle eight. Epic music and shoes. Oh, this is a puzzle eight? This golden gate. Yeah, the views are really are something. It 
seems like certain point of no return if I go down there. that rope bridge did I? But I'm gonna follow this path for now. Uh, I don't know if anybody anything's been confirmed, but maybe somebody else can say yay or nay on that one. sure I looked over here and I, yeah this is where I we first came in and we had a look around here all right puzzle eight backwards Compatibility. Can I add a toe cam? Sure, I will add a toe cam for when I am streaming facing simulations. You can watch my feet do pedal work, but that's about it. Um, oh, did I miss the connector? Okay, what I should have also done there is connect it to... That. So I'm assuming I can see that from there when I lift that into the air. It's just a positioning thing. We need to come up with another route here. What if I move it over to here? Let's instead do this. I think what this will do is it will push the box out. Then we can raise that connector. Sorry, that. Um, name of these things. Activator. And we could raise the activator up. So both of those. Now we should be able to hit it. That will remain active. Now we need to do what? Uh, 
because the issue is here. It's all right taking this out. I've right, taken that out, but we need to... shuts so we can't put the connector in this side because we then need the connector back on this side of the gate slice it doesn't burn my bread. It's all good. to move the connector. Here. Our issue is powering it. Just keep trying the same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results, right? That always works. Nope, we only need to check out Posh once or an hour. That's more than enough. One of two things, either we bring the connector through here, okay, maybe we don't bring the connector through here. <laughs> it's 
still what we do. Bring the box out. Oh, yeah, but that's the issue. Can't bring the box out. There. So assuming that I can't see that from there, right? Yeah, that's why we need the box to raise it up. Not sure that good would do. What that good would do. What good that would do me. assumed that if I took the box from under it, I would lose my connections. Well then. Whoopsie. Okay. Puzzles are done. We have two stars, though, to find. And for one of them... I massively overcomplicated it over here. Uh, for one of them... We need to find one of the portal device things. Do we go across that bridge? Also, looking at that, the direction is like somewhere there. I don't know if I missed that bit. Yeah, we need a portal device to get that out of there. So... A, which puzzles have one of those devices, and B, what can we actually see? Which puzzles can we see? Because we're going to be pretty limited. now moving like all the way over here we're too far away from where we need to be we definitely won't be able to see it from here but 
we didn't experience any portal devices from any of the puzzles up there. Also, that reset itself, didn't it? I prefer to call it a portal thing because, to be fair, it doesn't really do any drilling more of a portal generation device, so I kind of refuse to call it a driller. since I've solved puzzles. I don't trust the game anymore. Mm -hmm. 